So he is one of the most recognizable faces in science with a talent for explaining the mysteries of space. And now he's taken us to infinity and beyond with his newest book. Please welcome back the smartest person we know. I love this guy. New York's very own <laughs> astrophysicist, <laughs> podcast host, and author Neil deGrasse Tyson. I am homegrown. Yes, yes you yes. are. Yeah, born in the Bronx. Bronx and All right. I got to tell you, we got, this, down. we got a copy of the book, and I was like, wow, this is a heavy book. Yeah. It, it's like, it's got the good pages. Well, well, first, because National Geographic published it, so you know it's going to be some quality stuff. Okay? <laughs> quality pages, yeah. Not only the, the look and the feel and the page thickness, yes, and the, it's, it's illustrated yeah. with artwork as well as photos, like from the James Webb Space Telescope. Yeah, there, yeah, there, yeah. there I mean, you go. Beautiful like imagery it. here. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what sets this apart from your other books. Oh, this one is, a, is different. And, well, first, I have a co author. Uh, Lindsay Walker, mm -hmm. and she is a nine-year um, senior producer with our podcast. So this is the third book in collaboration with National Geographic Books that has the spirit, energy, and the DNA of the podcast, which oh. is science, pop culture, and humor. Mm. So you nice. put all those together, braid that, and then you get the way we're delivering the information in this book. Yeah. So we start with, like, you're, you're standing flat-footed, look up at the moon. If it's hundreds of years ago, you say, how would you get to the moon? Uh -huh. Then you go far enough back. Icarus tried. That didn't work out well wow. for him, okay? <laughs> okay? But do you just give up? Or do you say, well, let me try to make wings out of something other than wax? Right. What is the spirit energy that we have as a species that continues to drive us upwards? And the, the first aeronauts, you know, once you figure out hot air rises and you can trap it. Yeah. So they put a sheep, a duck, and a rooster in a in a gondola. <laughs> where are we going? I, 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 yeah, right. I, was like, oh, oh. <laughs> I feel bad for the sheep because if it if the experiment failed, at least the duck and the rooster have a chance of right, landing right, smoothly. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so you, this ascends, and we're on the moon. We've been yeah. to the moon. Yeah. We haven't been beyond that, but our mind and our laws of physics yeah. can take us there, and our robotic emissaries right. can take us there. Yeah. So this is a, a chronicle of the fits and starts okay. that we have invested okay. as human beings in trying to ascend from Earth to the edge of the universe. Can you explain the whole pop culture dimension of oh, this Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so at each turn, there's like typically a movie that addresses yes. some of the topics we're right. talking about. So I got, I got Scary a, ones. I got it. It's the scenery <laughs> along the way. So I got to say, all right. Did they get it right or did they not? Do, do they mostly get it right or no. do they usually get it wrong? Because <laughs> <laughs> no. isn't there really ET out there that's yeah. not real? Yeah, so there's some they get right. And I, I'm all over it when they get it right, yeah. okay? I got to give, them, yeah, yeah, give yeah. the props where it's due. But when they get it wrong, that's also interesting. I'll give you an example. When we talk about ascending into space and the zero G when you're in orbit, yeah. there's a movie called Gravity. We, yes. I think yep. we all saw it with Sandra yes. Bullock yep. and who's the handsome Clooney. man, George Clooney, right? And so first, that, I think that movie should have been called Zero gravity, because the whole movie is zero, is zero gravity. gravity. But they did a lot of zero gravity stuff right. Yeah. Do you know oh. when you burn a candle, you know why it keeps burning? Because the hot air rises, yeah. Yeah. bringing in fresh oxygen. Okay. If you are in zero G and you have a flame, the hot air doesn't know where to go. Yeah. It just stays there, and the flame eats up its oxygen, and it extinguishes itself. That's they showed me. that yeah. on the ship. See? And you were like, yes. Oh, That's yeah, good. yeah. But <laughs> then somehow Sandra Bullock's bangs always knew which way down right. was. Right, they knew it always felt perfect. <laughs> it always <laughs> felt perfectly. <laughs> I, you know, I could talk to you for hours, right? But we have to get this in while we have you here. Um, and that's what's going on with the aliens. And the whole fact that there is... Now a, a, a congressional hearing about it. Mexico is showing. I love me the Mexican aliens. Those are so. <laughs> 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 They're like three foot creatures that rolled out. No, I, I, think it's, I think it's great. It's odd that they would look so humanoid yeah. if they're from another yeah. planet. Most life on Earth, with whom we have DNA in common, looks nothing like human. Yeah. Lobsters, they're jellyfish. They're so little. They're so. They're I, think, I think it's tiny. Three foot. Right, they're I think tiny. It's paper mache. They're, they're tiny. What's odd is if you're gonna have like shoulders and arms and bones and femurs and hip bones. Why is there a nose? Because there's no bone there. If you look at any mummified anything, there's a big, it's an empty socket. Yeah. Yes. And this one had this little pointy little nose. Right. So that's a little weird to me. But if they're real, let other people verify that. Yes. That is the path of science. Right. Okay. It's not just the claims of one individual. You'd say, 
bring it to the labs. We did that with the Apollo rocks. Right. Brought back rocks from the moon, sent it to the world yeah. so that other people can analyze it. Do you want to go up in that in, the, in that rocket that goes right just to suborbital space? Do you want to go up there? No, if you you know how high up they are SpaceX. above Earth? Yeah, uh, no, SpaceX goes into orbit. Okay. But the Bezos Branson yeah. billionaire yes. boys race, uh, they, <laughs> just, they, they go up and then they come right back. So if, if Earth were like the size of a schoolroom globe, they'd be about the thickness of two dimes wow. abo above the surface. Right. As an astrophysicist, I can't call that space. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Send me to the moon, Mars, and beyond. And, and, and give me a good like streaming account, you know, <laughs> and, so and I'm good to go on can, that. Can we send you back here to our couch again yeah. sometime? Oh, we yes, love like chatting with you, but because we, we've run out of time, and I'm so sad because it, there's so much more we wanted yeah. to talk to well, you. Well, the about. universe is vast, and you yeah. gave it only five minutes. I know. I'm sorry. It's We're going to expand our it. <laughs> you know, a uh, huge fan. Uh, his latest book, To Infinity and Beyond, everybody, A Journey of Cosmic Discovery, available now. Everywhere books are sold. Trust me, you're going to want to read this one. Yes. I started it last night. Uh, so, and it's, it's great. It's Thank fantastic. You. Thank so, you. Good to have you here.